Hey guys, welcome to A Little Magic Every Day. I'm Spider, and today we're going to be talking about getting ready for the detox that we'll be doing this weekend. Uh, so what is detoxing? Detox is another name for cleansing. A good detox will make digestion more efficient and stimulate elimination. Occasionally, Occasional and sensible detoxes help strengthen your natural defenses to help turn toxin, uh, s remove toxins in the body. Um, so, um, let's talk about who should not do a detox, okay? If you are under 18, pregnant, breastfeeding, sick, or recovering from illness, it is not advisable for you to do a detox. If you are taking medication or have a medical condition, please consult your doctor before partaking in a um, detox regimen. Now, some people think that in order to do a detox, you have to like not take any medication, but it, you know, it's always good to talk to your doctor if you do take medication and um, say, you know, I'm looking to do a detox or a cleanse or do this. Um, and they can tell you if it's okay to go off your medication for a few days, but they may want you to stay on. And that's fine. If you absolutely need, if you have life-saving medication, please stay on it while you do your detox. You know, you'll still get the benefits just by changing your eating pattern and drinking more water okay so um here are some signs that you may need a detox all right if you have skin problems headaches fungal infections lack of energy pain allergies gas constipation chronic diarrhea and food cravings you may need to detox. So those are all signs that uh, you may have um, a buildup. It's like, yes, our bodies are supposed to work in a way that is, you know, beautiful, wonderful, natural, and gets rid of all the toxins. And for a lot of people, it does. But every now and then, you know, we just kind of over indulge and um, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm having mental bleh, uh, over like our, our digestion, our toxin eliminating process just does not want to work. So we may have a liver that's slow and sluggish. You may have, um, pancreas that's slow and sluggish which can lead to type 2 diabetes or um, pre-diabetes you may have uh, your digestion may sl be slow and sluggish so you may have a lot of heartburn you may have gas you may have bloating you may have diarrhea or constipation uh, you may have kidneys that are slow and sluggish so you're just not you know, eliminating the way you should be. Uh, you may have lymph nodes that are overloaded. And so you may have like lymphedema, which is swelling of the extremities. And these are all signs that, you know, your body is not being as efficient as it needs to be. And so a detox is in order and I've heard some people say that detoxes are always bad that our bodies work the way they're supposed to and they just eliminate and get rid of toxins naturally and that's just not true for everybody so these are signs that you you know could definitely give your internal organs a break and help them to get rid of things that need to be gotten rid of all right, so I had tried, I was going to try to get this video out early, um, and it, it's five o'clock here, and I'm just sitting down to do this, and so 
what I'm going to do instead, because I, I know the same thing's going to happen tomorrow. I've got stuff I got to do in the morning. So what I'm going to do instead is go over tomorrow's detox regimen. And then tomorrow my video will be covering the benefits of detox and it'll go over Saturday's detox regimen. All right, so here's what you're gonna need, and this is part of what I was gonna go over today. You will need um, green tea. Green tea is fabulous. It really helps us to um, be able to, it shrinks fat cells, and it helps us to eliminate what we don't need, and it helps us to have, you know, just more glowing health. So you're going to need uh, enough green tea to have for the weekend. You're going to need, um, I like, I like flavored green teas. Um, particularly fond of mango green tea and um, grapefruit green tea. I think those are the best. But you know, you can try out some flavors. If, if you've never tried, get some regular green tea. You can squeeze some lemon into it. That's fantastic. Maybe grate a little lemon zest if you get some organic lemons. Don't grate lemon zest into it if you get waxy lemons or, you know, lemons you don't know where they've been. All right, you're also gonna need some herbal tea. Um, a, uh, I think the best one is going to be chamomile lavender because it, if you, you're gonna drink it at the end of the day and it's gonna help you relax, soothe your nerves, and get to sleep. Um, some more teas that you might wanna have on hand are some green teas, some oolong, some ruibos, um, You might want, uh, hibiscus is good. I'm trying to think of some others. White tea, that's delicious. Uh, it's got a really delicate flavor. I like mango white tea. <laughs> Have you noticed a trend? I like mango. Um, another, sorry. You might want to have a, a, some black tea, but you're going to be drinking this uh, hot and you're going to be drinking it without any sweeteners or milk or any of that. So if you drink a lot of uh, black tea, then you may not want to have that around. You may want to just kind of diverge from that. But if you're used to drinking black tea without anything in it, then, sorry about that guys, my nose is itching so bad. Then, you know, go ahead. Um, I like Earl Grey. I like it with or without sweetener. I also like chai tea and that has a lot of really awesome spices in it that help boost your metabolism. Yeah, okay. So you're also going to want to have smoothie ingredients. So you're going to want to have some, I like having frozen fruit because then you don't need ice and I think ice makes smoothies disgusting. If you like ice, that's fine, go ahead, but I do not want my smoothie all watered down with a bunch of ice. So you're going to need some fruit, either fresh or frozen, not canned. You're going to, um, oh. If you get some bananas, peel them, put them in a bag, and put them in the freezer, and then you're going to have some frozen bananas. Don't put them in the freezer with a peel on them because the peel turns black and nasty. It looks disgusting, and then you just want to throw them away. But peel them, put them in the bag, and then you've got frozen bananas. Another thing, uh, 
I personally, I have um, blueberries, strawberries, mango, mango, pineapple. That might be it. Uh, and bananas. Uh, another smoothie ingredient you're going to want to have is milk of some kind. I have coconut milk. That's my favorite. And the one that causes me the least amount of distress. You can do almond if you like that. And then um, Greek yogurt because it has wonderful um, amount. It has it's high in protein and it has wonderful probiotics. So that's really good for helping. Now, if you do have um, dairy issues, you can get coconut yogurt. But if you can't find coconut yogurt then I'm not entirely sure, and you have dairy issues, I'm not entirely sure what you could use instead. Maybe you know of something. All right, uh, the next thing you're gonna need for your smoothies is maybe some nut butter. Now, I particularly don't like peanut butter. I have a mild peanut sensitivity. It makes me break out so bad. Um, and I think it's just kind of gross but you know I know a lot of people love their peanut butter um, you might want to try almond butter my particular favorite is sun nut butter I think it is just delicious and I would eat it until I was sick as a dog but um, I do like it in smoothie you also might want some protein powder. I like uh, grass-fed gelatin powder, but you can get uh, egg whites. You can even find like pea powder, which is vegan if you want to go that route. Oh, and also you can do the coconut yogurt if you're vegan. Um, let's see. You might want some, um, I know a lot of people like flaxseed, or chia seed. I personally can't tolerate them because they uh, give me just wicked stomach ache like you wouldn't even believe. But um, you might, there's also psyllium. I think I said that right. Psyllium husk if you want. Uh, and then sweetener. You want natural sweetener like honey and maple syrup. Not sugar, not artificial sweetener, but every now and then you might want to add a little, little bit of sweetener to your smoothie. My personal favorite smoothie, and I got this from the Tea Cleanse book, is um, one frozen banana. I actually, I modified it just a little bit. It's one frozen banana a quarter cup of yogurt, a half a cup of green tea, a half, and I keep, let me just finish the recipe and then I'll tell you this, a half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of nut butter, and one tablespoon of honey, and it is divine. Um, you, if, if you want to add green tea to your smoothie you can either do like matcha powder which is I've heard really good things about I have not tried it yet I have some on order or you can um, brew some green tea and then um, put it in the refrigerator so you have cool green tea whenever you're ready for a delicious smoothie all right so you're also going to need um, some really good food and you're going to make dinner. And I know that some people do not like to cook, but for this, you're going to want to, um, you know, you don't have to cook. You can eat like some raw fruits and vegetables, but it's nice to have something warm and filling in the evening so I like to cook maybe some chicken or uh, 
you might want some fish or you want to keep it kind of light you know not red meat but um, chicken fish if you're vegan you have many options out there just you know you don't want processed f excuse me you don't want process you don't want processed food you don't want a bunch of sugar laden food you don't want um, you don't want food that's gonna make you feel heavy and gross at the end of the day when you've been doing so good the rest of the day um, a water filter or bottled water is good because you want your water to be you know super clean and refreshing you don't want to drink a bunch of hard water or water that may be contaminated with something you want comfortable clothes and fluffy towels and any self-care items that you can think of so um like for me i like to have my uh my bath salts with a little oil in them i like to have my face cleaning stuff and some really nice oil because i have dry skin and so all of that is really good and um let's move on to the most important part what we're going to be doing tomorrow all right so if you work like a regular eight to five job then this is going to be really easy if you don't you can modify this so and if you don't have like weekends off you might want to modify it so that you're doing this when you do have time off and if you don't have time like two days together off you can modify this um to like two days instead of three days so tomorrow you're gonna wake up at your normal time you're gonna get ready but instead of you know your and i'm not gonna say don't drink coffee because i know some of you are like super addicted to coffee and you would be very upset but i'm gonna ask you not to drink coffee after two o'clock because it disturbs sleep patterns to drink it that way so i want you to get up if you have coffee that's fine but i'd also like for you to have a cup of green tea go about your normal routine if you go to work that's fine if um so let's say that you work eight to five and at 10 o'clock you have a break instead of going and getting like a donut or cookies or whatever it is that you really enjoy pack of crackers have some more green tea then at lunch you're gonna have whatever it is that you like to have for lunch but try to keep it a little bit lighter maybe um no red meat then at three o'clock if you have another break green tea again don't reach for the candy don't reach for the sugar don't reach for the crackers another green tea it's going to help keep you full um when you get home i want you to have another green tea and make sure you're also drinking water throughout the day because you want to stay hydrated green tea can be diuretic so you may be you may have to drink another one or two cups we got beagles outside and <laughs> they're making all kinds of racket i don't know if you can hear that so you may want to drink another one or two cups of water to replace what you're losing from the green tea now if you're used to drinking a lot of coffee you may know how much water you need to drink to because it's even more diuretic right all right so then when you get home cook dinner you know even if it's something basic there are recipes all over the internet i promise go to pinterest type in like 30 minute meal or five ingredient meal and i'm sure you'll find something that you can make that's easy so you're going to and really enjoy it 
Like I want you to get in there. I want you to smell the ingredients. I want you to look at them. I want you to cook with them, add spices, really enjoy it. And then you're gonna eat it. And I want you to take a moment and really, you know, connect with the food, really taste it, really enjoy it. And then um, around 8, 8.30, what I want you to do is to, if you have a tub, I want you to take a bath. I want you to light candles. I want you to really relax. And while you're in the tub, maybe have that cup of herbal tea. That cup of chamomile lavender tea would be really great. It's gonna help relax you and you're gonna be ready to go to bed and have a good night's sleep. Maybe read a book. It's gonna be fabulous. You're gonna feel so pampered. When you get out, you might wanna pamper yourself a little, you know? Put lotion or oil on. Um, wrap yourself in a big fluffy towel. You know, just really take care of yourself. And you're gonna feel amazing. And I'm looking forward to doing this myself and I hope you're looking forward to it too. And so tomorrow we'll be talking about what we're gonna do Saturday. So I'll see you then. And let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to it. If you have any questions, I'm willing to answer them. I try to get back to you as quickly as possible. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leave a like on this video if you like this idea because I'm really liking this idea, okay guys? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and blessed be, and bye.